Hey, what's up? I'm Scott with New to Hockey, and this is a green biscuit. Today, we're gonna see just how much abuse it can take before it breaks. So if you don't already know what a green biscuit is, it's basically just two discs of plastic that are connected that have a little bit of plate in between that allows them to absorb shock on rougher terrain like the cement here. And it's also got less surface area that comes in contact with the ground, which allows it to slide around a little bit more freely, a little bit more realistically, kind of close to the experience you'd get with a puck on ice. It's about the same size as a regulation puck, but it is a little bit lighter. However, it's a really great tool to practice stick handling off ice. Now, if you research this, they say, of course, it's for stick handling only, not for shooting. They do have a separate model, the Green Biscuit Snipe, which is specifically for shooting. Uh, they say that this will break if you shoot it. However, if you check online, people test that or show that just by uh, getting some slap shots off. And it breaks, of course, within one or two slap shots usually, but you know, that's the most powerful shot you could possibly use. So I'm curious up to that point, just how much it can take before breaking because of course if you're practicing stick handling sometimes you want to you know just get off a little quick little light shot at the end of it or if you're playing with friends this is a great puck to use because it works it slides great on concrete so this would be a great uh, street puck for pickup games but of course you're going to be shooting there too so even if that's nothing hard will this break or will it be able to stand up to those situations that's what we're going to test today before we get into this test let me know down in the comments if you've ever broken a green biscuit and how all right, so what we're gonna do first is just to take some simple shots straight at the net. I'm not expecting it to break during this, but of course there is a little bit more uh, impact compared to just stick handling when you're shooting it at the net. It's gonna be dropping down and hitting the ground. So uh, we're just gonna do about 20 shots here and then I expect we'll be moving on to the next stage. So as expected, the puck shows no signs whatsoever of breaking. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next part of this test. So as you saw, my net broke. This is actually just a homemade net from thin PVC pipe, which I'll have to remake now from thicker, stronger PVC pipe at least. Uh, but this, of course, is gonna break a lot more easily if you're hitting it up against a net with metal poles. If it hits that metal pole, it's gonna be a harder impact than this is. Uh, right now, we're just starting it off low. I am going to also test this, hitting it against a hard surface, so that will replicate that situation as well. But first, we're gonna do one more test. So for that next test, from close distance, I'm just gonna kind of shoot it almost straight up at the net, so that way it's gonna bounce off and come straight back down towards the cement. That'll be kind of a bit of a stronger impact than those last shots were. Again, I expect it will survive this, but we'll see, we'll do about 20 shots or so. If it looks like it's gonna break, then we'll maybe push it a little bit further. If it looks totally fine, then we'll just move on to the, not, to the last test, which is gonna be hitting it against that strong cement wall. So as I expected, this is still totally fine. Bouncing up against the top of the net and slamming back into the cement. Uh, no problems whatsoever, no signs of breaking, no chipping really even, no significant chipping. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot some shots straight into the cement wall behind the net now. Uh, that's gonna simulate a stronger uh, surface, obviously, like a pole, a metal pole on a net. We're gonna start off with some lighter shots and then we're gonna build up little by little to harder shots and just see uh, how far we can push it before it breaks. And we're not gonna leave here until this breaks. On the 10th shot just now, I chipped off a little piece of it right here. So uh, we're gonna start stepping it up to a little bit of a stronger shot. After 20 hard shots now, it's still in one piece, there is some more damage to it, some more significant damage. You know, I'm not a super hard shot here, and I'm not taking slap shots, because obviously slap shots are gonna break it, but uh, we're gonna keep going. I'm just gonna see how far we can push this with, you know, average strength shots straight at a cement wall. There goes another big piece. I 
think it's safe to say it's broken now uh, beyond the use. And uh, of course it broke on the worst shot of the day as my shoe fell off. Uh, but it went through about 50 or 60 decent shots straight at the cement. I think that's uh, pretty satisfactory. So overall I was really impressed with how much abuse this could take, uh, even though it's not the version that's meant for shooting with. Uh, unless you're shooting 50 mile per hour slap shots, I think you can go ahead and actually safely use this for a while at least, just take an average shots onto a net. Even if it hits the hard post, as long as again you're not shooting hard slap shots at it, then I think it's actually going to survive quite a while. I'm not going to say it's never going to break, uh, but I think it can survive a decent amount of abuse at that lower power, you know, little light wrist shots, just playing, you know, casually on the street with friends and stuff, nothing, you know, rockets firing off at the net. Uh, but yeah, if you want to stick handle with this and then go ahead and uh, shoot off a couple of shots, then no problem whatsoever. So if you want to go ahead and grab a green biscuit for yourself or the green biscuit sniper, I'll have links for those down in the video description, so check that out. And also, this is my first video on this channel, so uh, if you have a request for future content, please do let me know down there as well. I'd love to hear from you. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching.